Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a header uh, using Microsoft Publisher. All you do is you pop right here into File, Start a New Project, hit a blank project, okay? So you can see we have a blank screen. Then we're going to come up here and insert a shape, which we're going to pick just a little rectangle. Bring that in here, open it up, okay? And then we go ahead and, uh, and size it here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with uh, about 3.30 and this I'm going to put at about 7.30. Okay, there we go. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit of color to it. Let's see, let's go ahead and do a shape fill. Let's go ahead and fill it with this color here. Okay, let's... Uh, Actually, it's going to be here. Let's go out under uh, Shape Fill and let's add a texture to it. It's a um, gradient uh, texture. And what I'm going to do, because my picture has the light kind of coming in from the left hand side, I'm going to choose this one so it's like the light is kind of sh shedding right onto here. Okay, now insert a picture. Okay, so I'm going to go here to my pictures and I'm going to go to my clip, clip art. Well, I take that back. Let's go to the pictures and let's go to the camera roll and pick this one here. Okay. Now we got this problem. We're putting it up here and it's it's one piece is the picture and then we have our block. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to actually click on this and I'm going to go up here to recolor and set it as a transparent color. And then you come over here and click and you can see it disappears and my picture is actually floating now so that's pretty cool what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger just so we can kind of see it okay so now I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this down a little bit make it fit into our header okay so we're moving this down here and uh, let's see okay so we got that there Okay, next thing we're going to do is add some text in here. Now let's do insert a draw box, which is a text box. And we're going to come up here and open it up. It's going to go ahead and type some text in here. Let's type in storefront pages. So it's going to be store. storefront pages and you can see it's pretty small but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight it and you can come up here and you can pretty much you know make it huge you can shorten it go with uh, 48 okay that should look good I also think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and center it okay so after it's centered then we can check the type of text that we want to put in here what I'm going to bring this down this is one that I think is pretty cool put that one and if I want to line it up with the whole header, okay, now everything should be centered, okay? So now we want to add to the bottom uh, some more text. And enter another draw box. So you come down here. Well, it didn't take. Okay, so insert a draw box. Oh, we moved our picture. That's not good. Insert draw box. Let's go ahead and start clicking it here, okay? And then we can open it up over it. Okay, and type, uh, I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, learn. Fella. And enjoy. Okay. And I'll highlight it. And then we're going to center it. And increase the size. And then we can move it wherever we want to place it. And, and 
something that's really cool is we can come up here and add an outline and then we can shadow it as well. So it'll kind of add a unique look to it. And I'm going to move this down just a little bit here. Kind of moving the stuff all over. There we go. I'm going to move it down and over a little bit. Well, anyways, um, yeah, once you have that designed, um, you, you pretty much just come over to the file and you want to save as, and, and then you want to name it. Uh, I'm going to call it Storefront Pages. Pages, whoop, demo. Now this is a, the important part. You're no longer going to save this as a publisher file. You're going to save it as a JPEG. Okay? So once you do that, you pick your folder. Okay? And then you press save. And that's all there is to it. Uh, now you have a nice header, it's unique in design and ready to go. If you want to see how I actually got the picture cropped, where I got the background out of the picture, I will show you that in a video and that's going to be labeled paint. Let me see what this program is. We're going to call it paint.net. Let's call it paint.net. Making your photo transparent with paint.net. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.